So we're going on the 64 and getting everything planned for the 59. We're here at the bench right now and both being convertibles, which are so cool to have convertibles. We have the pump and we have the cylinders and also the lines. What we did is we already put it into the 64. This is actually the setup for the 59, but it's a very similar process to install. But the first thing to do before they will work and put it in there with all new equipment available from Caddy Daddy is to prime the pump. So the first thing is you want to do it on the bench. And what we have right here is we have a power supply, which provides us 12 volts that we can apply to the pump. You can do that with a car battery if you have a unit we do have a particular unit that we use for several different applications here. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that everything is hooked up. We have all the lines, they're all brand new. We have the cylinders, which I kind of have spread out right here. And then this is the pump. This is the main pump and it sits behind the rear seat, right on that shelf there. Very similar for many years. This is a brand new pump here. So what I did do, is if we can look at this right here is within there there is a little plug that goes in i've pulled that out and i took from the original pump that i had which is right over here i did take that little little rig out there because i wanted to take that and i made a piece took a little bit of tubing put a hole in there and that way I can prime the pump it's really important you have to get the air out of the pump and fill it up they come dry so let's go ahead and show how we can go ahead and get that all primed so what I have is I actually have a big it's like a, a, a syringe type cylinder right here so I like to fill that up with automatic transmission fluid basically that's the same thing it's a hydraulic fluid that works works great for these setups so I'll go ahead and fill this up and it's going to take a little minute to go ahead and fill this guy up and I've done a few of these and what I found is it takes about yeah maybe a quart and a quarter to fill this guy up almost a quart and a half but we want to get that in there so we can actually start to prime the pump you got to get the juice in there beforehand so it takes a little bit of time but I got my little container right here and we're going to keep filling it up and fill it up until we've got a point. We're gonna start with about a quart and go from there. So now we've gone back and forth and we've shown that with filling this up you have to continue to sometimes add fluid to it and get the air out of it. So that's why we ran it back and forth, up and down, until it stops bubbling out of there. And then put the screw back in there and you're ready to go. So we've been working on the convertible top. We want to make it nice and fit well, adjusting the windows, adjusting all the regulators. The rubber on here is pretty bad. So we do have a kit, it comes in, it's about six pieces, a seventh piece for the front. So we're gonna show you how to put that on there. So let's go ahead and show you what screws it takes to take it off there and what you have to do. So these are the tools you'll need to do the top rubber on there. So. You need a razor blade, a nice holder with a fresh razor on there, a Phillips screwdriver, and three eighths wrench right there.
So now we have the three pieces on this side here. We already installed on the driver's side. So what you're gonna wanna do is, there's a lot of adjustment that goes into this, adjustment of the windows, the regulators, and the top. So it's playing back and forth. I like to loosen all the bolts, get it adjusted, snapped on there, and go back and tighten it up. So with these guys, you might run into also that you might have to trim just a little bit off the end, depending on the condition of your top. But best thing is, go through, you can tighten up the nuts, and then you wanna insert the screws on the ends, go through, realize you probably are gonna have to play a little bit with the slop, so we'll go ahead and put those on there. So let's go ahead and take it outside and see how this top looks. So now that with our convertible top in the 64, we put new cylinders, the new motor, and then we bled the system and installed it. So on top of it, we've got this great boot that goes on there. These snap into all the stock points along and they have a nice little ribbing on here. It's a good little finish. It's so nice to be able to cover that up and they are available from us. And so we're gonna take it off and we're gonna show the top going up and show some of the little pieces in there. Another piece that's available from Caddy Daddy are these inserts right here. This is where the pieces for the front of the convertible top come and meet. And this is a piece that gets worn out, it gets beat up. So we have new ones, so we just put some new ones in there, keep everything nice and tight on this latch. Caddy Daddy presents, it's all about giving back. Please enjoy the video of the Boys and Girls Clubs of St. Helena and Calistoga. Donate by clicking the link in the video description.